from the Wiggles and today we're here on Facebook Live to give you a sneak peek inside the Wiggly wardrobe. And I'm going to show you some of the costumes that I wear, that I wore on the new Emma series which is airing at the moment on ABC at 10.05 every morning and it's about to come to Treehouse but we will send you the details for when it's coming out. Come a little bit closer and have a look at these costumes. This is the Wiggly wardrobe. Have a look around. There's lots of, there's a big yellow section for Emma because my tutus take up a lot of space. Wiggly stuff, there's coats, shirts, sailor outfits, sergeant peppers, leather jackets, goodness gracious, the Austin Powers, hats galore. Have you ever seen so many hats? We've got marching band hats, top hats, fruity hats, fire engine hats, sombreros, my goodness, this is wonderful. Let me show you something, particularly Emma. Have a look over here. These are some of the headdresses that I wore for the series. Some flowers, beautiful crown. This is a lovely 1920s feather number. Cute. And lots of people ask me how many bows I have. Well, have a look at this. These are just some of the bows. Lots of yellow and black bows, of course, some Irish dancing bows. This is a glittery Irish dancing crown and bows for my shoes. And look at this drawer, full of bows, so many bows. And something that I absolutely love are ballet tiaras. Here are some of my tiaras that I wear to do ballet and some of them I have worn in the series just recently. Hey, hey. Well, have a look at this. These are a selection of the Emma tutus. Of course, one colour, yellow, with little black accents. And some of the tutus are better stored upside down. So if you have a look up here, sometimes if you've got a tutu, it's easier to store it up this way so the top doesn't get stretched. And that's what those tutus are up there for. Look at them all. I think over the last seven years, we've collected quite a few tutus. And for this Facebook Live, we had some people write in some questions before. And if you do have a question, write them up now, because we're going to answer a few. But this question here from Gillian and Tori says, do you design your wardrobe yourself, or do you have a team that helps you with your outfits? That's a great question. It's actually a little bit of both. These tutus in here are some ideas from myself, and I work with Block, and they make some of these tutus. And I've got some other specialized tutus, and look at this, a ginormous sari dress. It's absolutely beautiful with lots of tulle underneath it. We get lots of help from all different people, particularly with specialized costumes. Over here, I have, in this bag, we have to keep it quite clean, is my Highland kilt. And my kilt is in yellow. As you can see over here, this is Anthony's section. He has a few range of kilts. And he's got his tartan trues, and they're in the Gordon tartan. That's Anthony's favorite tartan. He's got lots of different types of, or tartan or plaid, as it's named in North America. But let me show you this. These here are some of my Irish dancing dresses. This one was one of the first ones we made here for Wiggles. And this one I wore in the series was made in Northern Ireland. Look how sparkly this is, with a bow to match. And I should show you this. This is one of my first Irish dresses. Ooh. These sequins were stuck on by my mother. So she was very proud of that dress. And this dress, which isn't like the dresses that are made now, particularly for lots of the costumes, the fabrics are a lot lighter, so they're easier to breathe. But this dress, I think I wore this when I was 10, is so heavy, it's made from full velvet with a backing board underneath. And that's not one of my first Irish dresses. It's so heavy. I think I'll need the boys to hang that one up for me. Speaking of boys, I think we've got a special guest. Come and have a look this way. Let me bring up here. On the way to the dressing room, there's a selection of Emma's shoes. 
We'll get back to these shoes, but have a look who's inside the change room. Hello. 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 Oh, just, oh. Hello. Oh, hello there. Oh. We're just getting ready for the American tour. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. And we're warming up with a lovely song like this. That, Lockie's going to sing and dance. Why don't we come in here with a bit more space? Please, please, Hello, please. everybody. It's Anthony. Hello, everybody. It's Lockie yeah, in we, plaid. Yeah, we're just ready for America. That's what they wear over there. It's a good idea that the boys are packing for the America tour a little bit in advance. We're coming over to America at the end of July. We're starting over on the Never Eat Salty Wheat Beaks west side and going all the way over to the east side. Oh, you guys are dressed wonderfully. Emma, if it rains, we don't care because we love it when it rains because you love to dance and Lockie loves to sing and I'll play the guitar. Sounds good to us. I love it when it rains as I lie in bed at night. I see it through my window, the pattern soft and light. And then the storm may come and the thunder starts to crash. The rain beats on my window and I see the lightning flash. Did you show everybody the most important costumes? <laughs> the wonderful kilt. We the Gordon like, Tartan. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this is Anthony's specific favourite section. Yeah. This is called the doublet. And up here we have a lovely this. And I'll tell you something very interesting, everybody. This is a head massager. Sorry about that. Lock, well, try it on and show everybody. What happens? <laughs> it's going to ruin my calories. Oh, my okay. case. <laughs> now, everybody, what happens is you press the button and some lovely music plays. Oh. And um, there's no batteries. But anyway, it usually works. We better get back to getting ready for America. Have fun. Okay. Great to see you, everybody. We'll see you in America. Do they really wear this stuff over there? Yeah, absolutely. All the time. We're dressing up for America. Yeah. <laughs> For all of our fans up in North America, we're coming to America, end of July, and then after that, we're coming to Canada right at the end of September. We can't wait to see you there. Actually, one more thing before we start some questions. I'd like to show you the very first original Emma music box. This is the Emma music box, which I made and sparkled. And have a look inside little ballerina. One thing to note about this particular music box is it doesn't make any sound initially when it's not in the Emma room and it's so that we can film with it and then we put the music on afterwards. There she is. So thank you for writing in all your questions. There's so many questions. We'll go this way and I'll have a read of some of the questions that were written before and then we'll read some of the new questions and then I can show you some of this wonderful craft. Okay. One question from Morgan says, what was it like filming Emma Series 2? Morgan, it's a great question. We had the best time. And the thing about the new Emma Series is we have so many friends and family that came and visited us on set in the Emma room and came and danced with us. We did dancing from all around the world. Scottish dancing, ballet, jazz, Irish dancing, African dancing, Greek dancing, all kinds. So when you watch the series, have a look out for all those different types of costumes that will be able to tell you what country the dancers came from. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, Mia. Mia's three years old. Mia says she loves practicing signing. Do the other Wiggles have sign names and can you sign them? That is a great question, Mia. Okay, so sign names are given to other people, mainly given to hearing people, from the deaf community and we were so fortunate to be able to be given sign names to represent ourselves. My sign name is Emma. So instead of having to spell E-M-M-A every time someone introduces themselves to me, I could just say, oh, my name is Emma. And the reason why is because this is a sign for a bow. You can try it too, two fingers, each hand, Emma. That's Emma. Okay, 
Anthony's is quite tricky with your fingers. You put one hand facing down and the other hand you use three fingers and you touch your third finger onto the back of your hand. And that is a sign in Australian Sign Language for blue. Anthony. Anthony. Brilliant. Okay, Simon's a little bit easier. One finger, curl it over, place it to your chin, that's it, and you just brush it down, just twice. That's the colour for red, and we say, Simon, that's Simon's. Now Lockie is a little bit tricky, it's quite special. So, the colour purple in Australian Sign Language, definitely in New South Wales, is with two fingers on your palm, almost like you're painting with the purple colour, purple. But, that's not Lockie's name, we made an L with our fingers, and you touch the top finger, and that's Lockie. So that's all the names, Emma, Anthony, Simon, and Lockie. Great question. Okay, another question here from Naomi and her daughter, Evie. Oh, did you hear that? I think they've got another visitor. It's always busy here Hello. in the Wiggle House. Hang on. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh sorry. Back. Yeah, we're back. We oh, wanted to do another song. Oh, great. Look. Yeah, and Lockie's getting Lockie. another outfit ready for... Oh. We, we wanted to do a song um, all about you, Emma. Oh, really? Come on, gracious. everybody, let's sing the song. Are you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure am, Emma. This is my American day-to-day uh, yes. -day wear. Oh, yes. Same with me. Excellent. Uh, Elvis and yes. the Uncle Sam. Oh, now, really? Emma, people ask you, where is Simon? Did you tell them? Simon. No, sorry. Simon's actually just getting ready. Oh, is he in there yeah, now? he's getting ready. Will we go get him? Well, Before just we see if he's ready. Okay. He's, I think he's getting a different Could you hold song. this for me, Lock? Yes, I can. Let's see if we can get okay. play everybody a song. Oh, Lockie. We'll see you in America. Lockie, thank yes. you for being here. Oh, you're welcome, Emma. We are really looking forward to seeing you, everybody. If you haven't got tickets, you still can all over the place. Have you already said that to everybody? Yes, we're going to America at the end of July, so you yeah. probably need to go and get another outfit sorted. Oh, guys, got, it's a long trip. Um, I've got some... Well, it's good news. Simon's here. He's getting ready, but the okay. only thing is... Yeah. Uh, he put his skivvy in the, in the wash. Oh, no. And he can't come out because it's drunk. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh dear. But well, he's here to say hello okay. to everyone. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 we're going to sing the song, The River Rolls. Oh, The River Rolls. Yeah. Please, everyone. A River Rolls is the dance at the end of a ballet class that thanks the teacher, thanks yourselves, and thanks everybody for joining in the beautiful class. Ready? Try this. We've had so much fun dancing in here. We sung a lot of songs and signed a bit too. One last dance before you say goodbye It makes us happy, go on, give it a try Try this, arms to the side And then one arm up to the sky And a big bow That's it, try to get another arm Up very tall A big bow For a curtsy Beautiful Thank you very much no worries, Emma. excellent. We're going to do a few more questions. Oh, okay. You, I thought it was the end. If you have another uh, costume, we'd love to see it. The Phantom of the Opera is gone. <laughs> Off they pop. They're going to get another costume ready for the America tour. It's a big tour. They need a lot of outfits. Okay, one question here. 
and we, we just skipped a question before. It was from Naomi and her daughter Evie. They asked, how long have you been doing Auslan? That's a great question too. I actually grew up with a friend of mine and her brothers were both deaf and they used to sign around the house and when we were playing and we used to learn sign language so that we could communicate with them. And so I've really just been doing Auslan very casually since I was very young. So I've done um, a few community courses, but I just can't wait to be able to do my certificate too when the tour is not so busy and I can be home in Sydney. Now, should we have a look at another question? This question is from Mia, age six and a half. Mia asks, how old were you when you first started ballet? Mia, good question too. When I was little, I used to watch the Wiggles because the Wiggles are almost 30 years old and I'm turning 30 this year. And I used to watch the Wiggles just as you watch the Wiggles. And on the TV, they had this amazing Irish dancing. and I loved it. And I asked my mother if I could start Irish dancing. Mum took me to the school, but at that time I was four and the teacher thought that it would be a good idea for me to start ballet first before Irish dancing. So I started ballet at about four and a half years old and I've been doing ballet ever since. Okay, another question. Okay, from Cadence, age three, when are you coming to America? Cadence will be there at the end of July. So have a look online on the tours page on the Wiggles website and you click country, change it to United States and then all the tour dates will be there. But it's from the end of July. It's a really big tour. That's why the boys need to pack so many different clothes. Okay, Piper, age two. Why did you decide to learn so many styles of dance instead of focusing on just one? Piper. You're right. I, I think I just love dancing so much and I wanted to try all different styles of dance. And you can have a look over here. We didn't really get to see it before, but the, all learning all the different styles of dance has led me to have to wear so many different types of dance shoes. And here are some of my shoes. It's a lot of shelves. Here are some of my Emma shoes, which look like this and they were made by some friends of ours at Salvio's, but they no longer have a company. And lots of the shoes here are from Block, lots of my ballet shoes. We've got some Irish shoes up here from Ireland. They come from Ireland. Oh, we've lost a sequin already. Have a look at these. These are my tap shoes. They have a metal plate underneath and they sound like this. Like that. Oh, this is a busy road. Hello, hello. Come in, come in. Just been down to Venice Beach. Oh, how wonderful. Venice Beach. Oh, that's in America. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we just got fit. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh. We got a song for everybody. This is a real surprise. everybody. Yes, Lockie, yes. It's hard to boss with muscles. Come on, Lockie, we better get ready for America. We'll see you in America, everybody. We can't wait. We're coming to America, sweet Caroline. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Those two, that wardrobe that they're going to pack to America is going to be very eclectic. Okay, there are a few more questions. One of the questions is from Mia. And this Mia has asked, do you have advice for someone starting dancing? Well, Mia, if you feel like dancing, and it doesn't have to be ballet in particular, but any kind of dancing, contemporary, hip hop, character, tap, if you like it, then you should start it and see if that's what you want to continue. 
And the great thing about dancing is that you can try so many different styles. And that's really how we've got so many costumes in here to facilitate all the different styles of dance that we have on the Emma series. Here's another question. And this question is from Alice. And Alice has asked, do you have a sister or a brother? Alice, I have an, uh, a younger sister. I thought she was older. She's actually younger, but she's taller than me. Her name's Hayley and she's four years younger than me and she's an actress and she lives in Sydney. And I hope Hayley's watching. That's a good question, Alice. Thank you. Another question here from Claire. And Claire has asked, do you get nervous dancing? You know, Claire, sometimes I do get a bit nervous when I go out on stage, but when the curtains open and I see everybody sitting out there, I relax straight away because all the children are really happy to be there at the concert and that makes me happy. Actually, I should show you something. Sometimes at the concerts, children bring gifts for the Wiggles or roses for Dorothy the Dinosaur, uh, treats for Henry the Octopus or bones for Wags the Dog. But I collected some of these to show you from the tour children they make the most amazing craft if you are feeling crafty we would be happy to see some of your craft at the shows have a look at this this is a bow guitar i think this should be my real guitar and this bow guitar is from lucy and joshua and they gave this to us on the australian tour it's wonderful last week we were touring in north queensland and i received these beautiful ballet shoes this is la Camila and emmy it's a beautiful drawing there. These glasses, which I posted on my Facebook, you might have seen, aren't they brilliant? Great for North Queensland weather because it's so sunny up there. I might have to bring them to America too. Not Probably not to New Zealand, it's going to be freezing. Now. Okay, last one here. Look at this drawing. And how many stars are on there? Beautiful. It says, you're our world and my love from Lila and Alira. So thank you very much for making those. They're absolutely beautiful and we do bring them all back and I try and frame them and hang them up on the walls here in, in the Wiggly office. I should answer this last question here. This question is from Jake. Will you sign on the party tour? Jake, great question. Of course we'll be signing. We love to sign the ABC. And when we tour in Australia, we sign in Auslan, in Australian Sign Language. But when we go to North America, we'll be signing in ASL. So have a look online. There are some videos on our YouTube of us signing the ABC and you can start practicing so by the time we see you you'll be able to join in or if you like to sing along to the ABC song please do oh, I think that's all here today from the Emma Facebook live checking out the Wiggly wardrobe if you do have any more questions keep sending them through and we'll we'll be able to reply or write to us on Instagram or on Facebook thanks for joining us here today and we can't wait to get to America we're going to New Zealand, popping over there quickly first from over next week and we'll be able to see you really soon. And Canada, we're coming after America at the end of September. We'll see you there. Thanks for joining us. Have a beautiful day. Bye.